Don't feel pressure, you know, just because I do it better than you, it's fine. Have you been on the railroad much? No, man, I've never used a railroad, I'm fucked. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Levy. You may remember from such videos as the first Humble that we did, where we were in Whistler during Crankworks, where I showed Brendan Faircloth a thing or two how to ride a mountain bike. I taught him about line choice and cornering, and I think he really grew as a rider that day. So we're doing a very similar thing here today, except we're not on the mountain, obviously. We're at Mountain Fitness, a gym in Squamish. I'm here with Todd Shimlock of Performix Training. Uh, he works with riders such as Aaron Gwynn, there's a guy you might have heard of, and another young up-and-coming rider who's a junior downhill world champion and a two-time EWS champion, Richie Rude. We have Richie Rude here today, and him and I are going to do some gym workouts. He's going to show us some of the workouts that he's done to make him as strong as he is, and I'm going to show him how strong I am, and we'll see how it goes. So what we're doing today is we're going to look at two critical exercises that Todd uses with his athletes. What are those? A clean press, which is a Performix uh, version, and the deadlift, proven to be two of the most critical uh, components, strengths, okay. for uh, gravity mountain bike. So the, you'd call them the most important exercises that someone could do you know, yes. in the gym? Yes, or exactly. At home. This yeah. is not necessarily the order we would train in, but for viewer uh, discretion, uh, this would be the two most important uh, power strength exercises. Yeah. Keep in mind, too, that this is a very condensed thing. Um, you obviously want to warm up properly and, and do all that right stuff so you don't hurt yourself. Please. We totally did that. Okay, what do I do here? Get your feet in there first. Oh, shit. It's kind of like... I feel like I was born on a rowing machine, motherfucker. Maybe I should give up biking for rowing. Oh, you're just going easy? <laughs> I'm trying really hard. And then after we're done here, we're gonna go to Todd's workshop where we're gonna do a wattage test and a rowing test, endurance test, and we're gonna see uh, how badly I beat Richie at those things. Clean press, Richie's gonna go first, he's gonna show me how to do it, and I'm gonna give it a try. Richie. What, what does this work out exactly? What muscles is he working out, is he targeting when he's doing this exercise? And how does it benefit him on the trail? A whole body. A whole, whole body. body, but really emphasis is in what biomechanics, shoulder strength, lower back, okay. uh, posture, and yeah. alignment, using your leverage. Okay, so this is much more useful than doing a more focused exercise, you know, like something like a bench press. Exactly. As Richie said, when are we ever doing a bench press motion on the trail, right? Yeah, this is a multi-joint movement that is uh, requires technique, strength, yep. you know, uh, mentally, physically, okay. emotionally. Okay. And he would do how many sets and how many reps of something like this? Anywhere between uh, one and uh, uh, 50 repetition. Okay. 50. Okay. All right. So now it's my turn. I'm going to have a go at Richie's weights, which is 145. So I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll give it a try. He, he looks stronger than me, but I think it's mostly just beach muscle. Like my muscles, my muscles are smaller, but I think they're denser. So we'll see what happens. Oh god, no! <laughs> Shit balls! <laughs> Zero chance! <laughs> oh. we've, uh, we've adjusted the weights a little bit for someone like myself with maybe a little less muscle mass than Richie, and we're going to see how this goes. Three in a row is the plan. Nice, Mike. Good job. Chin in. Oh boy! Don't get up on your toes too much. Third one's the best. Yeah. Leave you hanging. And make sure to pay attention to Richie's form, not my form. So the next exercise we're going to show you is called the deadlift. Uh, it's a pretty well-known exercise, but what exactly does it work out? What does it accomplish? Again, a whole body, whole body okay. thing, but a lot of grip strength, uh, posture development, hip development, lower back, core, legs. Okay. So now that Richie's warmed up, he's jumped up to 315, which is, he's lifting the weight of like a whole car or something like that here. So we're gonna let Richie have a go and then I'm gonna give it a try. Do a couple. Richie did four there. It looks like he was struggling a little bit. You could see in his face, he was, his face was a little red. I saw some veins there. So he was trying hard, but we'll see how I do. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Good job, Richie. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Todd, we've left the gym. 
And now we're back in your personal gym. Yep. Can you tell us what we're going to do here? Well, we're about to do a max wattage test on rower, um, bike, and uh, ski or G. And uh, we'll do, like I say, max wattage, and then we'll do sustainable wattage or power at each okay. one of these pieces too. Okay, and that's the max wattage that we can hold for X period of time. Exactly, 90% okay. of your max yep. for as long a period as you can hold it. For. Okay, and again, just like the, the exercises we were doing in the gym, I can see that these exercises are, they're targeting not just one muscle, it's, kind of, it's many body. muscles, exactly. whole body. Whole body. Okay, well, let's get to it. Get it! Side. Stop. How do you feel, Richie? Yeah? Bad. Would you call that fun? That was fun. Yeah. A little bit of pain. I'm, I'm tired just looking at you. 550 was his max. 535. 535. 535. Okay. Come on, bud. Keep breathing. Okay, you drop. Let's go. Up, 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 up. You did it. Keep going. Keep going. 498 average. Uh, one minute and four seconds. 498 watts. Over one minute and four seconds. One minute and four seconds. Okay. So I got some numbers to aim for here. They're not very big numbers though, are they? I, th I think I got this. No. Um, it's a foregone conclusion that I think I can well, we, take them. Yeah. I, I... This exercise, what exactly are we, what muscles is it targeting and what, how does it benefit a mountain biker? Whole body once again, and uh, big parts are lower back and uh, grip strength. Okay. Uh, besides whole cardiovascular, yeah. obviously muscle endurance. Grip is something you keep coming back to with every season we've done. Yeah. It sounds very important. Can't think of the last time my hand blew off. Mm. But well, and the fatigue. It's the small muscle groups like your yeah. forearms, and you start losing brake control, uh, positioning on the bike. And okay, you get forget. sloppy. Exactly. Like the hands might not come off, but you're getting sloppy in your think, actions. Think Gwyn, think Lloyd Bruni, think of that position on the bike, really, yeah. you know, really stable looking. Yeah. You can't have forearm fatigue yeah. and okay. that happen. What was, what was your max number, Richie? 535? Yeah. 35, Just checking. 430. <laughs> Let's go, Mike. Yeah, boy. Keep breathing. 450 coming up. And go. 450. Good pull. That is way harder than it looks. What's your max wattage you've ever seen, Richie? My Garmin a couple months ago, I got 16,000. That's not. <laughs> no. 570. Come on. Get it. Focus on your back. You got it, you got it, 570. Done, you did it, 571. That looked painful. Starting at 250 watts, and you're gonna build up by 20 watts every 10 seconds. Okay. Until failure. Uh, failure. I'm good at failure. And then at that point, you've got a, uh, we record that, and then uh, calculate 90% of that while yeah. you're having a two minute breather, and then you're gonna go back and see how long you can hold that 90% of your maximum output. Okay. And we'll record that. Now, does this have any relation in any way to like what uh, readers might think what a, an FTP test is in the classic sense? Yes, I, it's based on a MAP test, which is another version and a fancy word scientifically, but basically we're figuring out two things, your max wattage within reason and your sustainable power, call it more your endurance. Okay, usable real life power for exactly. a short sprint yeah, or? Exactly. <laughs> Three sixty one versus four seventy five for Mr. EWS over there. I didn't even hold that lower number for nearly as long as him either. Smashing three sixty nine right now. Four hundred. Go. There it is. Coming up. Those. You might have to get a wide angle lens. Get those pipes in there. Yep, a little harder. Now you got to go 170. You're just screw it. 260. 260. Max watch. You did it. Get ready. No. 
287. Yeah, bro. What do you go? Can you keep that arm up there? Oh. That is way harder than it looks. Max Watts was 287. 287. His was 410. 287. Normal person. Very close. Just like a couple watts in between us, right? Yeah, couple. Couple. All right, Richie. That was awesome. That was painful though. Very yeah, painful. So we've just finished up. We were in the gym first with the weights. We saw some uh, critical exercises to do there. And then we came here and we did some endurance tests. We used the rowing machine. We used the ski machine. We used the watt bike machine. And they were all very painful. And I thought I was probably going to be a little closer to Richie, but I think you've seen the difference between someone like me who's, you know, average Joe kind of guy, rides a lot, but I don't really train, you know, specifically for anything. And then a guy like Richie who definitely puts in the work. That's what you see. You see someone who puts in the work and does the training and I feel like I was humbled. Did you feel like you humbled me, Richie? I think so. I mean, I saw, I mean, you pushed your limits and everything and... Yeah, that was good, dude. Yeah. Okay. Until the next time I'm humbled. We'll see you guys.